All right, welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. Hi, y'all, on Sunday morning. And we're going to move right along on this shave because, uh, yeah, Sunday morning, but we do have work today. So every other weekend, I work 12-hour shifts. Yesterday was a 12, and uh, it rained yesterday afternoon into the night. It was cool, which I like. I like cold, wet, nasty weather. I really do. Weather that most people don't like, I do. Now, I'm smart enough to know that if I live somewhere where it was that way a lot of the time, I might not like it as much. I'm smart enough to know that. We got our Maggard's uh, mix brush today. That's the mix bore and badger brush. Um, but anyway, so I'm smart enough to realize that if, uh, you know, if I lived up north somewhere, or if I lived in a country where there were really harsh winters and they went on for a long time, and you, I might not like it as much. Okay. But uh, as it is, I do. Right up to the point there's ice on the road because I don't like people getting hurt. But right up to that point, I love cold, wet, nasty weather. And yesterday was a, it was uh, in the 40s. It was drizzly, rainy, sometimes a little harder rain during the day. Uh, the neat thing was, we're going to use some Cremo today. The uh, sandalwood Cremo, just because I hadn't used it in a while. I love a good sandalwood. And uh, heck, I like a mediocre sandalwood. But anyway. All right, we're all spread a little cream around the old face here. Okay, so I mentioned the other day I pretty much had to shave every day. I don't cheat. Well, I cheated. Hopefully my boss doesn't watch this. It's a Saturday. There's nobody around. I wanted to shave this morning, so anyway, I cheated. All right, there we go. So we do have, as you can see there, maybe under that smear of cream, we do have a couple of days worth of growth there. It will be okay, I promise. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Let me uh, do something real quick. I noticed that I didn't refill my uh, witch hazel bottle, so we're just gonna get the old witch hazel down here so we'll have some for the shave and I'll, I'll fill that bottle here before long. So anyway, one neat thing is uh, I'm the patrol driver now, which is really good fun. I love it. Always have a little patrol work. It lets you get out and move around and see a lot of things. And when you're good at it, it keeps you busy. There's always something to look at and look for. It's a big property. But we also have an off-site property that we go and check several times. Sometimes we check it more than others for various reasons. Well, yesterday was one of those times where we were doing a lot of off-site checks. And uh, it's neat, except you gotta drive through traffic. And Yesterday afternoon, it was typical Saturday. We have to go through an area that's got a lot of stores and restaurants and stuff. It's one of the one of the areas in town. If you ever been through Baton Rouge, or if you ever been around Baton Rouge, or if you want to look it up, it's Seagan Lane. You got uh, you got a big Walmart out there. You got the Sam's out there. You got the, the little strip mall that's got like the Old Navy and the Coles and bed bath and beyond there's a boot barn out there uh, then as you go the other way you've got a target academy sports is out there big lots is out there and then you have your restaurants you have your coffee shops you have uh water burgers out there i hops out there um uh, olive gardens out there. there there's several places there's some steakhouses or the chilies but anyway the, the whole point of all that revel is that it's busy Sometimes and yesterday afternoon on a Saturday when it being rainy, it was busy. So the traffic backs up at the lights. Well, they have a light that has two left-hand turn lanes, a straight-through lane that takes you back up on the interstate, and two right-hand turn lanes. There's five lanes across there. So what I was running into yesterday, just to show y'all the stupidity of the drivers, we're going to use the. Uh, Dollar Tree razor. It does not have a Dollar Tree blade in it because I'm not sure where those blades are right this thing. And so it's got a Wilkerson blade in it. A new Wilkerson blade, I might add. But anyway, this thing is very efficient. And even though it's just a Dollar Tree razor, it gives every bit as good a shave as anything else. And you get a ton, a ton a blade feel, by the way. So anyway, 
When I go up to this intersection, I'm in the right left-hand turn lane. There's two left-hand turn lanes. I'm in the right one so I can go into the far lane because that's the lane I eventually need. And as you'll recall, I have a habit of wherever I can, I get in the lane I'm gonna need and stay in that lane and ride so that I'm not trying to jump in and out of traffic. Now most people around here at least, especially the kids, seem to think that that proves you're a good driver if you're running around and you're jumping in and out of traffic. Look how good I drive, look how good I drive. You're an idiot. But they think that's good driving. I think good driving is planning ahead, knowing where you're going. And uh, you go ahead and you're in that lane to start with where you don't have to sit there and fight your way through traffic and fight your way through lane. So anyway, I want that right hand lane because that right hand lane ends up where I want to go. Pretty simple, right? Yes, it is. Oh, the cream has got such a good smell to it. So what people were doing that didn't want to wait in line, and I had it happen two or three times. Sometimes there was more than one vehicle at a light. I think I had it happen three times. Twice it was a single vehicle, and once it was two or three. So they'll come up that lane on the right-hand side that's for going straight. And if you go straight, you end up back on the interstate. And then when the light turns green, they're already rolling out ahead of it to anticipate it. Then they rush out and make a left-hand turn instead of going straight. So they're forcing their way into that left-hand turn traffic that has waited in line and done what's right, the safe thing, waited in line, worked their way up to the light. Sometimes it takes a couple of runs of the light to get through it. I think I waited as long as three, one of the really busy times yesterday, three times that it took three cycles maybe that's what i'm trying to say to the light to get through well they don't want to wait on all that and they feel entitled i guess that they shouldn't have to they're smarter than everybody else. they deserve look at that got a weeper ah i got a weeper yesterday or uh yeah was it yesterday i did the weaving? no thursday 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 when i did the weaving shave i got a weeper i think what it is is that my skin is getting saggy. that's that's where that scar is that i have to be careful about i've mentioned it before not a scar there's wrinkles now and uh that's exactly what that is this is also a very uh, aggressive feeling razor you get a lot of blade feel with this razor so apparently i'm not stretching good enough i gotta work on that i guess stuff that used to be just normal stuff now i gotta think about it a little bit because my face is changing Yeah, I was sitting there talking, so maybe that had something to do with it. I don't know. But anyway, so that happened two or three times that uh, these entitled people, and that's the problem, is people feel entitled. People don't feel like they should have to wait in line anymore. And uh, I couldn't see the drivers. I don't know if it was young people, if it was older people. I was going to work out in a plant a couple of weeks ago and had this uh, car pass me, and it was an older, I don't know, Nissan, Toyota, whatever. It was an older Japanese car, and uh, he was working really hard to keep the speed up. You could tell listening to it. And he passed into traffic. Now, we're running probably, you know, 55, 60 miles an hour, but it's, it's a part of the road. It's a two-lane road. It's going out to where the plants are. It really should be a four-lane road. There's always a lot of congestion. And you always get behind somebody that's driving 50 miles an hour when you really need to be somewhere. I understand the frustration. I've gone through it a lot myself when I was working in a plant. So anyway, he passes into traffic to start with. And then we get up and there's a car that's uh, making a left-hand turn and has to wait on some traffic coming. Well, of course, passes on the right. And away they go. That dang kid, no patience. I get up and he gets caught at a stoplight. Little next little crossroad up. He gets stopped at a stoplight. I drive up and look at him. It's an older guy. An impatient older guy instead of an impatient kid. So it ain't just the kids. But uh, there's idiots of all ages. Anyway, I was in uniform and I chose not to... Uh, you know, wave the number one finger at him and tell him he was a number one idiot because I was in uniform and not a nice thing to do when you're in uniform. 
it was nice yesterday. Our uh, patrol truck is in the shop, which is a uh, extended cab Toyota Tacoma. Junk, by the way. They, they don't do good in, in what we use them for. I know several. Uh, I know several security sites that have those little Tacomas, and they put the little four cylinder in them, and they don't do very well at patrol work. You know, remember patrol work? We're out a lot. We're running them around the clock every day, all day, and uh, you know things like that. They just don't do good with that little four cylinder you have. But anyway, so that truck is in the shop again. So we have a rental. It's a newer model uh, Dodge four door, the crew cab. Uh, with the Hemi, and for some reason the rental is a four-wheel drive, got street tires on it. I wasn't impressed with the tires on it yesterday in the rain. But anyway, so it was nice to drive a, you know, a nice ram around, even if I was yelling and fighting with traffic. But again, in uniform, so I didn't, uh, I didn't too much express my opinion of the drivers. Now looky here. Woo, I gave a good shade. We had a couple of days worth of growth. That little weeper is already starting to dry up. But you can see I got a I got a crease here. That's the, right on the edge of that crease. It's generally where I've started hooking myself every once in a while. So even when you're good at this, it can happen if you're not paying attention. All right, so we had some uh, Dickinson's Witch Hazel today. I'm going to refill my little bottle that I keep out here on the counter. Uh, I was also complimenting my brother-in-law there. Apparently he didn't like my my Witch Hazel touch-up shave, which is fine, you know. That's not, a, not an issue in my book. We're going to finish up today with Master Bay Rum. Now, is it Ma I've asked this question before, and I still haven't gone and looked it up. But I don't know if it's Master's Bay Rum or just Master Bay Rum. Neat thing about it is, back when I was married and had moved back and was living around Greenville, Mississippi, I was working in Greenville. I went back to the barbershop. I was using the barbershop where I got my first haircut called the Palace. And uh, it's right next door to Jim's Cafe was. I don't know if any of that stuff is still there. I haven't been back in years and years and years. But uh, anyway, they sold this Master Bay Rum, and that's what one of the things I was using back then. I had used a uh, safety razor off and on. I had a safety razor at the time. I was mostly using plastic cart garbage, but I did have a safety razor at the time. I had the two that, that uh, I always tell, you know, Mom had in the... Uh, cabinet I had a lady uh, a lady Gillette and then I had a uh, light beauty the uh, slim not slim but anyway my mind just went totally numb call it the black beauty but anyway I had those all right so uh, it's always nice to use a little bit of the bay rum there and uh, bring back some good memory but that is an excellent 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 shade with the Dollar Tree razor uh, they're still selling those by the way I saw some the other day all right, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I got to get ready for work, so we're going to let you go. And uh, remember, watch them turn lanes. The one that says straight only, go straight on. We got one right around the corner here that's a right-hand turn only because I don't want anybody hanging up trying to turn left and back the traffic up. These things, kids around here will invariably want to make a left-hand turn there and hold traffic up. And I'm sitting there gnashing my teeth a lot of times because, you know, I want to get out and go tap on the window and point at the sign. But pussy, they might not like that. Well, they might not. Jeez, kids these days. Everybody's so worried about everybody else's feelings when they're being idiots. Someone's being an idiot. Let's go tell them they're being an idiot. When they get mad, you can let them and go, Oh, I'm sorry you got mad when I told you you were an idiot. Heck, I thought you knew. Y'all have a great day. Whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, happy shaves to you. Special shout out while I'm thinking about it today in Kentucky. And uh, Miss Susie, I ain't said hello in a while. How you doing, Miss Press? I ain't said hello in a while. How you doing? Or as they used to say on Friends, how you doing? But uh, anyway, y'all have a great day. Whoever, whatever you're doing, we're going to finish it this time. Happy shaves to you.